I don't know that if you've noticed, but uh, this is an election year. <laughs> and it's a, uh, it's a more colorful election season than most. It's been a little unusual. And, no, I can't do that. The, the, the Constitution prohibits it, but more importantly, Michelle prohibits it. Now, now, one of the reasons we're told this has been an unusual election year is because people are anxious and uncertain about the economy. The primary story that Republicans have been telling about the economy is not supported by the facts. It's just not. They, they repeat it a lot, but it's not supported by the facts. But they say it anyway. Now, why is that? It's because it has worked to get them votes. By telling hardworking middle-class families that the reason they're getting squeezed is because of some moochers at the bottom of the income ladder, because of minorities or because of immigrants or because of public employees or because of feminists or because of because, because poor folks who aren't willing to work. They've been able to promote policies that protect powerful special interests and those who are at the very top of the economic pyramid. That's just the truth. And, and I'm here to say, Elkhart, seven and a half years since I first came here, we've got to challenge the assumptions behind this economic story. And, and the reason is, it, it, the reason is, it has ended up dividing Americans who actually have common economic interests and should be working together for a better deal from the people who serve them. 